Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Well, the game has updated again, and uh, if I may rant a little bit, I really miss the times when, well, games were just patched. Instead of now, when the games, some of, the, a lot of the games were actually, when they are patched on Steam, for example, they don't just patch the files, they have to apparently unpack the entire file, rewrite entire files, repack the entire files. It's just ridiculous. The patch was 750 megabytes big, which in today's times is nothing. That's like, I don't know, two seconds download and that's it. And then the disc was thrashing. I kid you not. It was thrashed for what? Five minutes, 10 minutes because it had to write and rewrite and unpack and pack like 13 and a half gigabytes of stuff. It's just absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand it. Payday 2 also used to do this until I said, this is ridiculous. I'm going to uninstall this crap. And it's just, I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. Why this whole system of, oh, we need to pack everything into a giant ass file, which is nothing more than just you know, it's just packed with their own proprietary stuff like um, Unreal and, and, and I think Unity also does that. It's just ridiculous. It's like, if people want to go rifling through files, they're going to do it anyway. Driver struggling to find gears. <laughs> Let's see, Edgewood Hellcat. Look at that. V8. Hey, I'm coming to you with a very sentimental task. This Hellcat is the only piece of my grandma I have. Wow. It was a car. The condition may not be perfect, but I really care about making it into something that would resemble production condition. Grandpa takes great care of it, but he's showing his age. He's showing he is age. <laughs> Just like this car, he could use a fresh approach to the subject. I want to surprise him. The condition of exploitation elements should be fine. <laughs> Did an alien write this? What the hell is going on? The condition of exploitation elements should be fine, but the rest, the more difficult to access parts, have surpassed the capabilities of Grandpa. <laughs> Please take care of this classic piece for me. See you. <laughs> holy moly. I know the developers aren't uh, native English speakers, but holy shit. Just get me to, to proofread this stuff for you, because oh man... I mean, you know, generally English is okay, but there's a lot of stuff that just throws you off because it doesn't sound like something an English-speaking person would say. You know, very weird sentence structures, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. So you, you clearly see that uh, it's a case of them thinking in their own language and then uh, translating it into English. That's a nice-looking car, though. I have no idea what this would be. Uh... It, it does look very... Uh, I don't know what, what what an actual car this would be. It, it looks very familiar to me. Like an old Dodge Charger? I have no idea. Like I said, I'm not I'm not very familiar with American cars that much. Uh, mostly pickup trucks, because I like pickup trucks! Alright. Even though I don't quite live in the sticks, I kind of... Well, I like pickup trucks. <laughs> All right, so uh, he said that the status of exploitation of parts is beyond grandma's something. I don't know. <laughs> so what do we need to do with what? 1.2 tons. Come on. No American car was under two tons back then, probably. Come on. 1.2 tons. This is like a tiny, uh, tiny car. Maybe 1.2 tons if you take everything out, including the engine and transmission and everything else. Yeah, maybe 1.2 tons. Uh, 269, yeah, that's more like an old American car. A, a huge honking V8 and like 270 horsepower. <laughs> uh, 500 newton meters of torque. Alright, so what do we... Oh. Uh, condition may not be perfect. Change oil, other tasks. Okay, so we just have to, I suppose, get it running. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That's a nice looking V8. Uh, I can already see the uh the um heads will need to be replaced or repaired right so let's check actually let's drain everything first because i think it says that we need to replenish everything power steering's going also the oil will have to go <clears throat> 
There we go. Oh, we had a lot of coolant. All right. So, uh, fuel pressure test. Yeah, fine. Ah, uh, cannot be started. I thought that was going to be the case. Tires are in good condition. Very good condition. Practically new. Okay. And then we want that. Probably doesn't have an OBD port, so we won't be able to do the OBD stuff. Ah, uh, the starter. If I just replace the starter, then I can probably do all the rest of the stuff. If it starts, of course. I can maybe even take it for a test drive. That would work. But then again, we can just, you know, look at it and hold down the mouse button and that's it. <clears throat> Compression tester is not going to work. And it's not going to have an OBD scanner. I mean, port. Alright, so, uh, let's just replace the starter, which is here. And excellent. We can actually take it up from here. So we're going to do that immediately. Uh, I don't think I can repair this thing. No, of course not. Because, you know, why would you be able to? Uh, right, so I want... It's probably going to be here. Starter V8. Then that. Well, 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 let's put a starter in there. Uh, only for you. For you, good price only. All right, there we go. Now, let's see what happens. See, this is the stuff that I would like from this game. Um, diagnosing engines and what's wrong by, you know, saying like, oh, no, the starter's not working. But, you know, that would require them to actually code so you can go into the car, try to start it, and it would just say the car doesn't start. It would go click, or maybe it would go click, 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 or, you know, or, or, or there would be a horrible grinding noise and you know, stuff like that. I know that that's probably out of scope for this. Uh, but I think that would be pretty cool. Ah, so it starts now. Excellent. There's nothing else wrong, it seems. I mean, not that badly. Four-barrel carburetor. Fuel pump, wow. That fuel pump is done. I hate the fact, despite the fact that it was only three things here to test, it still took so long. Uh, compression tester. <clears throat> Let's see if this engine has to be taken apart. No, that seems to be good. No, it does. Crankshaft. <laughs> Alright. So. Alright, alright. Holy moly. <sighs> so, crankshaft. The only thing that needs to be replaced is the crankshaft. But that means we have to take up uh, the entire pretty much thing apart. So, yay. Uh, we'll also have to take the oil out um and of course the, uh, the the cam gear also needs to be replaced quite a lot of things i might actually get the engine stand people have been, uh, have been suggesting that i get the engine stand because that's english because that will make things a lot easier apparently <clears throat> so let's see suspension one out of ten two out of ten three out of ten I think they've added, added new music. I, I don't remember this tr this particular track being played before. Um, but yeah, I wonder if... What, oh, actually, never mind. We've heard this music. I wonder what they've patched. Um, and I also wonder whether they've patched the stupid... You know, uh, F and escape and tap to get out of things. Like a thousand different things you have to press to get out of different menus it's really annoying but i have a feeling they haven't okay drive shaft let's also go for the suspension <clears throat> and that's all the same thing here otherwise it does seem to be in a pretty good uh, condition this thing I cannot see the fuel tank from here okay all right so live the car Actually, let's, uh, can I, I want to take the fuel thing here. Come on. Can I go that way? Thank you. Take that out. Nothing else seems horrible. It might be that the brakes need changing. Oh man, can't see anything, but I believe I see, uh, rust. These are some nice tires. Proper, uh, classic old tires. 
No. Oh, well, let's take the shoe off. Oh, the brake rim. Let's see. Yeah, I think that does need replacing. Let's see. No, it's 85, actually. Hmm. See, I don't know if some of the stuff might be bad, but it, it's not going to show rust. Hmm. This brake shoe is okay, though. What's the... What's the minimum exploitation level status thing? 89%. See, again, I don't know if they want me to change that or not. Probably not, I guess, because it's not on here. Despite the fact that that was 89% or 87%. <clears throat> let's put all that stuff back in. And let's check the other side just in case. Uh, well, we'll have to take it apart if we want to see that. Shock absorbers seem to be okay. Uh, these things, the bushings, we need to check. They don't seem to have any problems, though. So I think they will be fine. Yeah. Nothing back here apart from the pump, I guess. Petrol pump. Alright. That needs to get out. Uh, we need to lift this. Change the oil. Well, take out the oil. Alright. Let's use it. Yeah, that's pretty nice oil. And there's enough of it, it seems. So, now we can take out the oil filter. That's a big filter. There we go. Alright. We'll probably need that as well. Cross member. Uh, bushings. I'm just going to add four because I'm assuming that all four are done. Oh, bushing. And that one as well. Yeah, that's not in a good way. All right. Well, let's take everything. Oops. Come on. Let's take everything off. Because we'll need to take everything off. And then we'll see if we can repair anything. Uh, these things look okay. So that's alright. Sway bar. Let's take that stuff off. Otherwise, a lot of this stuff looks in excellent. To be in excellent condition. So, Grandpa really is taking care of the exploitation level of the different components. <laughs> I love it. It's like... It's like... I don't know, a Chinese person wrote everything in Chinese and then put it into Google Translate. That's that's what it feels like. If you haven't yet, I mean, I don't know if you want spoilers or not about Star Wars. I haven't watched any of the new Star Wars, but it was the... I think it was the... The last of the... I, I can't remember. I haven't watched any of the new Star Wars. Uh... It was, it was after the very first original trilogy when the second one came out. It was the third part, I believe. Uh, and it's called, if you, if you Google it, I mean, not Google it, if you look at it uh, on YouTube, there's the whole third part on YouTube called... Um, well, is it Star Wars or is it something else? But it's Backstroke of the West. Just look that up. And you will see something amazing. It seems to be a bootlegged, uh, bootlegger version, Chinese bootlegger version of Star Wars. It's still the Star Wars movie that you might have watched or might not have watched. But it seems that it had ch Chinese um, translation. So all this stuff is good. Uh, yeah, it had Chinese translation. And then people have decided that they wanted to translate that back into English. I believe that's how it went. And they actually voiced everything. So everything is voiced. Uh, all the characters, everything. But it is in... <laughs> it is in such insanely, insanely funny uh, English. You have to watch it. If you, like, if you like ridiculous stuff like that, you have to watch that stuff. Because I was just... It was amazing. It was really, really amazing. That's just nine. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what the original name is, but the subtitle is Backstroke of the West. 
Because that's um, the Revenge of the Sith, I believe. I think that's what it was. Um, and it's just ridiculous. Alright. Uh, so, if I was to buy the engine stand. That's 2,000. Let's buy that. And see what... Uh, how that works. How can we take the engine out? Oh, where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. Why is it all the way over here? Create new engine. Install engine. Rotate engine. That's cool. You don't have the necessary parts. Okay. How do you... How do you actually take the engine out? Oh, there we go. Ah. Move equipment. Car lift. But of course... It's right now we need to lower this thing. Yeah. So, um, let's lower it. We'll have to, I believe we'll have to change the clutch as well, I think. So, can I just do this now? Yes, I can. Install the engine first, take off all engine parts. Okay. Oh, pull the engine out of the car. There. Use the engine current first to move the gearbox. Ah, oh, okay. Makes sense, of course. So, let's go. Starter comes off. But that helped us because, you know, we, we could diagnose quite a bit of stuff when the engine was actually cranking over. Yeah, but that that thing is just... Oh, man, I love it. It's, it's especially good if you've seen the movie uh, yourself or the original. And you know, you know, what's what, or at least remember most of it. And then you have that just wonderful, wonderful, insane uh, translation. And it's all voiced. And, you know, some of the stuff is pretty good. Obviously, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be professional voiceover. But they sort of try to find the same sounding voice actors. And most of their microphones are of reasonable quality. Oh, that was already it. So it's, yeah, it's definitely worth a watch. Oh, let me just pull it out. Is it here now? I wonder. Ow. No, I don't know where it puts the actual engine. I mean, I know I have to click on the uh, the engine stand, but I just want to see if... Why doesn't it appear on the crane? It's a bit of a wasted opportunity, I guess. Oh, well. I guess it just goes into your inventory. Let's see. Yeah, there it is, V8. Alright, so, uh, rotate, rotate, okay. So this one, yes. There it is, lovely. It's gonna be, it's gonna be actually quite nice to, uh, to work on this. Alright, so, let's take everything off because, well, we'll need to anyway. This filter is good, it's new. All of this stuff is, looks very, very nice. Including the carburetor. But yeah, we'll have to take the crankshaft out, which means pretty much pra a practical entire rebuild, because we have to take the pistons out and everything. And let's take the uh, ignition wires off as well. And the distributor... Oh, it seems like it's okay. The only problem is, to replace the heads, we'll also need to take out all the ref uh, rockers, the rocker arms. Every ten. Oh, good. I've got an itchy nose now. What does that have to happen now? I guess there must be something in the air. Oh, wow, it's raining again quite a bit. Uh, yesterday we had a, a crazy downpour over here. And uh, in the capital city, which is reasonably close by, uh, they had a lot of flooding. They said it was like a you know, rain that you get every 100 or 200 years, which I'm guessing it's gonna be becoming a much more common occurrence. Not a 100 or 200 years, but probably like 10 years or maybe even less. Every one to two years, maybe. More like it. All right, so rocker arms. I think some of these will need to be replaced. So let's see, that one is bad. Uh, the push arms, not rock arms. That one was bad. That one was also bad. I guess all of these are bad, yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four. 
All of these seem to be in ugh condition. There we go. Lovely jobly. All right, let's go to the other side. The rocker arms uh, themselves seem to be okay. So, not really sure what was going on here. Yeah, but... I, I, you know, this is a fun little uh, casual game where you're doing all the stuff and, you know, there's a lot of quality of life things implemented. But, wouldn't it be cool if at some point they created a car mechanic simulator, simulator that actually... Well, I don't know how to say it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That actually allowed you to diagnose engines properly. So, for example, you would start it up and then you went and listened around the rock, rocker arms. Maybe see them, uh, you know, not moving. Maybe they're stuck. Uh, maybe you don't see oil coming out of some of these push rods. You know, stuff like that. I, I think that would be awesome. But, of course... That would require a whole proper simulation of the engine, uh, of the combustion, of everything. Which would then, you know... Um, everything would depend on that simulation then, because... If something is wrong with the spark plugs, maybe one of the cylinders isn't working, which would change the sound of the engine. It would also judder and lose power and this and that. I think it would be very cool, but maybe at the same time it would be too involved. Maybe. Because, again, this is a relaxing, casual game. And that would probably be a lot more hardcore. And, in a way, it would also require actual knowledge of engines in the end, I suppose. Alright, so, we'll need two of these heads. Uh, I don't think I can repair them. It would be very nice if we can, because they're probably not very cheap. I'm gonna guess around 900 credits. Oh, these bolts are long. Okay. So let's get this one off as well. I can just do it like this, and then I don't have to move the mouse. Oh, there. Now now I just keep it pressed, and I'll do one after another. That's a little top tip from Metal Canyon. Yeah. Alright, so let's see if we can actually repair these things. And it's a good thing we're here at the repair table. No, of course not. Ah! Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's the other one? What? Why only one? I guess it's below 15%. That's nice, though. Very nice. Ooh, quite expensive to repair this, but... Uh, so what's that? 97%. Now well, let's repair it fully. That's cool. So let's see. The other one is 13%. Yep, that's why. So you cannot actually um, do that. That's cool. All right. That's uh, 16 of these. Yeah, good. I can actually type it in. They're very cheap, though. And we want the yeah, 800 one of these. All right. So, now we want to get rid of the pistons, probably, because we'll have to get rid of all that stuff down there. Let's take off the oil pan. Clink, clink, clink. Maybe I should spend some of my all this stuff. Oh yeah, we'll need to rotate it. Uh, I think I saw some bad stuff here as well. Let me see. I thought the clutch was uh, in need of replacement, and it is indeed a clutch plate. I seriously doubt you can actually repair a clutch plate uh, in the game anyway. Uh, no, you can't. I have seen um, Pakistanis re repair <laughs> clutch plates uh, in Pakistan. Which was insane to me, but there you go. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, let's rotate this. Thing. No, how do I... Yeah, let's uh, rotate it. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. You don't get out of the menu to do this. That's nice. Uh, yeah. We'll need to get all of this stuff off. I don't know if I actually have to take the pistons out. I think I can just uh, unbolt these and then just pull the crankshaft out. Of course, I'll have to get new caps as well. So, one, two, and three, I believe. 
I don't think we need to take the pistons out, so that's... I think that will be quite nice. Oh, wait a second. I completely forgot to see. So, to get out of this... F, F... No, see. If I'm in this, the only way to get out of the shopping list... Oh, is with tab or with F. To get out of this, F does not work. It's escape. So, they still haven't done that after all these patches i know i just complain about it and i never actually post any feedback on the forums or anything but i would have thought at this point that a lot of people would have complained about this but i guess not and i know that makes me sort of a slight hypocrite because i'm just depending on other people to uh relay what i'm unsatisfied with you know, I'm just hoping that everyone else will be unsatisfied with it as well and will complain so it saves me, the lazy me, the, uh, the energy of doing it myself. So we'll need to take this off as well. The flower wheel. All right. Ah, we do need to take the pistons out. Okay, well, we can do it from this side. That's all right. We can just do it like this. Uh, the, come on. The rings are okay, I believe. But... Did I not? I must have forgotten the cap or something. Pop a cap in your Conrad. All right. Yeah. So where is that cap? Ah, there it is. There it is. We are going to remove this and then remove the piston itself. And now we can... Oh, no, we can't. Because we have to remove all of this. And I do believe some of the stuff... Yeah, the, those uh, belts need replacement. So this one and this one need replacing. Because they are just in very, very, very poor way. Let me just check the water pump. No, well, actually, what am I doing? The water pump is okay. I'll probably have to check the distributor. Yeah, the water pump is okay. Uh, so take off the belt. Ignition is fine. All of this stuff is fine. So just take off the crankshaft pulley and then we can take the crankshaft out. Uh, let me actually add it to the thing. Oh. Ah, ah, okay. It has the timing stuff. I think some of the timing gear need to be replaced as well. If I remember correctly from that list. Yeah, there it is. Uh, the timing chain. Uh, I think that will need to be replaced. I'm just going to add it for now. Yes, that needs to be replaced. So it's not rusty, it's like dirty or something. And there's a camshaft, but that looks nice. That looks okay. Alright, let's take that out. And let's also take this off. Just to peek, peek inside. Make sure that nothing's corroded. And no, that stuff looks good. However, I'm pretty sure that there's more stuff... Seriously, we, we we can't look at the car stuff here. That sucks. You have to go all the way to the car and then look at the car status. So, yeah, we actually found everything. Excellent. Now, let's see. I don't think there's anything here we can actually repair. No. So, uh, we just have to buy everything new. So, clutch plate, lovely jubbly, crankshaft bearing cap times three. Serpentine belt, another serpentine belt, crankshaft, it's only 180, and the timing chain. All right, excellent. And of course, escape doesn't work because I'm here, so I need to press escape there. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. All right, let's put the nice shiny crankshaft in there. Lovely. Look at that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're uh, enjoying this. And I do agree, uh, getting this uh, engine stand is quite nice. Makes things a lot easier and faster. So thanks for that tip. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.